The road to an EFC title shot is long and grinding. Fighters start preparing months in advance, adjusting their diet, exercise regimen and training routine. Paul Grambois trains at Lloydminster's Fight Farm and will be competing for the EFC middleweight title. He realizes a fighter is only as good as the team surrounding him. We have battles in there, where like, you know, it, it's pretty good. It's not none of this, oh, you're hitting me too hard. It's, you know what, let's see what you got, you know, and everybody steps up and that they're ready to take a beat or give a beating. Greg Welsh trains at MMA United and will fight for the featherweight title at EFC 6. He's known for his unorthodox striking and always tries to put on a good show. I want to keep everybody entertained, man. They pay money to come watch us beat each other up. So, I mean, I'm a fan long before I'm a fighter and I, I don't like boring guys that just lay there and don't do nothing. I, I like to, if I could backflip and kick a guy in the head, I'd try it, man, but that don't work. Grambois' last fight saw him lose via TKO to an opponent he got caught trying to brawl something he vows will never happen again. Now, I usually go in there and I'm always looking for the knockout. Now, if I see an armbar or if I see a, a neck he leaves out, I'll take it. I'll take anything, I'll take the win. I'm going to start playing my game now. Welsh is the former EFC 155-pound champ, but dropped to 145 after losing that belt. Despite his experience, he still gets the pre-fight jitters. This is my third main event, actually, and I still feel just as nervous as my first fight like three, four years ago. So. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they'll get easier, but they don't seem to. I'm nervous as hell. I'm a basket case. Nick Hanen will make his pro debut at EFC 6 and knows very little about his upcoming opponent, something not uncommon for undercard fighters at this level. He has an 0-1 pro record. I know that much. I'm not sure what kind of amateur record he has or what, but he's a game fighter. I know that, so he's going to come to bring it. And I'll be right there to bring it with him. Welsh is fortunate in that he's seen his upcoming foe fight more than once and can formulate a specific game plan. You know, I got to stay sharp, try to use my reach, hit him. I guess he's good at uh, some tie too, so maybe we'll trade some kicks and put on a good show. And despite not knowing a thing about his fellow title challenger, Grambois knows that this is his time. Uh, I don't know Travis, but you know he's in for a whole world of trouble. I'm going to come and I'm going to bring it hard and fast. Fight night arrives and all the training and talking is done. Now it's time for the fighters to enter the cage and put themselves to the true test. Nick Hanen does indeed bring it as promised, dominating his opponent with a takedown and vicious ground and pound to end the fight in the first round. Nick Hanen! Ben Stewart uses a huge slam and follow-up punches to TKO Joe Gobey early in the first as well. Stewart improves to 3-0 with the win and should see a welterweight title shot in the near future. Picked the guy up, slammed him through the mat. Like, unbelievable. He's, he's going to be a very dominant 170. Stewart knew the fight was pretty much over after the slam. I talked to him after, actually, and he said, he said when I slammed him, he hurt his shoulder pretty bad, but he said he wasn't going to be the type of guy to tap out from punches, so he said he just covered up and waited for the ref to stop it. Grambois fights in the co-main event. He stalks his opponent, Travis Cloud, and then swarms him with combinations, eventually catching Cloud with a brutal knee to the body, which obviously does damage. I thought it was going to be a five-round war. You know what, I heard he's got a really good chin, and from the last video that I saw him, you know what, he can take a beating and give a beating. Uh, I just came in and uh, did what I had to do, and I caught him really good, and then I caught him with a big knee, and I think that just ended it right there. Grambois finishes strong, causing his opponent to tap while still on his feet. As soon as I seen that I was hurt, I just want to stick on him, stick on him, and finish it off. I don't care if the fight lasts 10 seconds or 25 minutes. As long as I get the win, I'll go in there and do whatever. <laughs> Finally, the moment arrives, the main event. Greg Welsh goes to work immediately, throwing head kicks and moving constantly to thwart any chance of a takedown. And then just 17 seconds in, he lands a head kick that drops Corey Knapp to the canvas. Welsh shows his killer instinct by following up with relentless pressure once he smells blood. I didn't want him to get back up, man. He's tough. He can uh, get up and slam me, and then I'm laying there and he's beating on me. So, uh, just happy to walk away with the belt, man. Knapp has no complaints about the referee stoppage as he doesn't remember the kick or falling to the canvas. We knew that Greg was going to throw head kicks and uh, we just wanted to keep the hands up and he threw the one and I could put my hand up here to protect the jaw and his foot just wrapped around. For Welsh, the belt is concrete proof that the hard work he and his teammates have put in at the gym pays off. I really wanted to, I trained hard, like super hard. We all, everybody down there did, man. My heart breaks for the guys that lost tonight because I know how hard they train just as hard if not harder than I did. And for the promoters they can rest easy knowing that the event was a success both for themselves and for the fighters they bring in from across three provinces to compete.
The place is packed. And, you know, just the, the intensity of the crowd just blew me away. I, I don't think I could be happier with an event. The fights are unbelievable tonight. We're very excited for the way the night turned out. Lots of great fights. Uh, that head kick of Greg Walsh is wow. That was unreal. Uh, Paul Grambois, it's good to see the belt stay here. Jacob Zare, Newcap Sports.